Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. I have not forgotten that I talked about doing a stats video for my meal wordy experiment and that is still coming, but today I want to talk about my plans for Camp NaNoWriMo now in April 2022. Now I wasn't sure if I was going to participate in Camp April for a couple of reasons. Partly because I'm not really in a writing mindset right now. I did the word experiment in February and have since not written. <laughs> and that is fine. This is how I work. But also because I think I will start commuting two days a week come April. Currently it's just the one, but I think it will be two. And that does eat up an entire day. I come home, I have dinner, and then I'm in bed. That's it. So I wasn't sure I was going to participate, but here we are. I have made a decision. But let's talk through that because I'm really very, very much lowering my goals. Now, I've said before that Camp NaNoWriMo is not as important to me as big, proper, real NaNoWriMo in November is. And that is still true. And there are several camps that I have skipped and I very well might do that again. However, in April, I want to do some reading. Now, reading published books might be cheating, but I'm going to read my own. I'm going to do some rereading this month and I'm hoping to get through four things. First up is April and Other Fools that I wrote in the summer of 2019, I want to say. I haven't reread it since I wrote it, but I'm excited to do that now, and that is 50,009 words long. Secondly, I want to reread Going Up in Flames, which is the first of my two witch stories. They're a sequel. They're a duology, that's the word. I have Going Up in Flames, which is almost 69,000 words. And then I have the sequel, which I also want to get to this month, which is Rising from the Ashes. That one I did not finish writing, apparently. And the draft I have of that sits at around 37,000 words. Fourth and finally, I want to reread my Siren story. I wrote that in 2020 sometime, I want to say, which I can't believe it's already two years ago. Time flies. But that is finished. It's a finished first draft and it's 63,000 words long. So doing some quick math here, that is over 200,000 words to read and three novels, three and a bit of novels because 60-ish thousand words is, is a fine novel length. So yes, I have some, I have some work to do and I'm hoping that I'll reread them and then be inspired to keep working on them or start a second draft or at least get back into the writing. The Dual World project is still a little bit on pause, so we are doing our streams still once a month. And we haven't yet had the stream now in March. I'm filming this on the 24th, so two days before the stream. And maybe we get to the end of the plotting this stream, but I doubt it. And because I doubt it, I am not going to intend to or aim to work on the Dual World project in April. But my hope is that I will reread these things. I will look at them with fresh eyes because I haven't reread any of them ever, or at least not in a while, a year or two. And hoping I'll look at them, like them, like at least the premise, like at least the core of them and be inspired to keep working and to make them better. Because it occurred to me a while ago that I have a few projects. This is four of them, my four most recent ones. I also have Alice that I worked on back in 2017 and a few other bits and bobs. And then I have Simon and Noah and I have Freya and I have Lexi and Alex that I worked on during the Milwaukee experiment. And I also have the assassin story that I started working on then. And then like I have a very many projects and right now, right this moment, I am in an up. I'm not writing, but I'm like, I have written good things. I could work on these. I could improve these. These could become something. So we're hoping that that up lasts continues, carries on. Now I said I was going to lower my goals for this camp and what do I mean by that? Well, I am setting my word count goal to 30 words, three, zero, 30. My overarching goal is to finish reading these stories, these books that I've been working on. And so I figured every day that I read these stories in the month, which is 30 days, I get 1.1 word per day. This seemed like the easiest way to track it because I don't want to be like, oh, I read 10,000 words today. I get 10,000 words because I, I don't really get that. But 30 is such a small number that it should be fine. However, if I don't read for one day, I won't win because I can't, you know, catch up 
the way I can on a word count that I'm falling behind on. So I didn't think that through entirely because there very well might be days that I don't read. But that is my plan, rereading four projects, three of which are novel length, and if we take the 37,000 words of this one and sort of, you know, put that onto the other ones, it's three novel length things for sure. Reading these four things, getting myself one word per day as part of my tracking, but now I'm scared I won't read for a day and then I'll not get a point or a word and then I won't win camp. Might have to adjust that. It's also a problem if I read too fast and if I'm done on the 20th, then what? I clearly haven't thought through all the, you know, ebbs and flows of this, all the things that could go wrong, but either way, that is my goal. I hope to read these, I hope to get excited to work on them again, and I hope to have fun with it. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with a new video soon, so I hope to see you then. Bye!